Hey, good. Welcome back to your Caribou Data Science channel. This is the afternoon. This is the evening, December 29th. It's time for the final two reports of the day uh, for the U.S. and, of course, Brazil. We're going to start with the U.S. Yeah, I forgot to record both uh, the U.S. And, and Spain's numbers for this. Let's take a look here. Okay, you see over here then that uh, since January 2020, U.S. has had 53.17 million cases. And since the first week of April 2020, we've had 820,708 cases. Okay. And you can see right here that the U.S. is uh, the estimated yearly case of the U.S. with, with an average of uh, 75, 75, 75,312. The average number of K daily cases is 75,312 cases. Okay, which projects uh, over the next 12 months to uh, 27.4 million more cases. But of course, you know, cancers and heart disease numbers uh, numbers continue to pile up. But we don't like really to spend a lot of time talking about those, do we? Currently, the U.S. is averaging 1,226 deaths per day, and that, that projects out over the next 12 months to uh, 447,770 possible deaths over 19 days. So let's take a look at the at the yearly numbers. You can see that for the U.S., uh, 2021 cases have passed 2020 cases. And in terms of the quarter, unfortunately, Now, unfortunately, it looks like the fourth quarter of 2021 is going to be tied for the third quarter with the third most cases so far with the, with the third quarter of 2021. So we can look over here. You can see that these are monthly cases for the U.S. You can see we had this nice declining pattern of spring and summer. Then we had this mess that happened over here in July and August. Two months, then it dropped back down. But now, unfortunately, uh, boy, uh, it looks like COVID-19 like cases for the U.S. for December 2021 are going to be the most third most cases since all the way back over here. Okay, since all the way back over here at uh, in January 20, November, October, November, December, right? No, November, December, January. Okay, so it's going to be the third. It's going to be the third most cases since all the way back over here in uh, in, in uh, December 2020. Weekly cases, again, you can see the big declining pattern spring and summer. Uh, we don't want to overlook that. Was this Delta variant? Was this unvaccinated people? It's kind of hard to say. We had a dip again. Now it appears unfortunate the year is going to end up on a, on a, on a, on a high note, meaning that the year is going to end up with, with, with COVID-19 cases in the U.S. increasing. Okay. And this is just the daily numbers. You can see these numbers here. Nothing real, you know, you already know what the numbers are. Dip down to 3,900 here during the summer. What about deaths for the U.S.? Well, you can see. Okay, click a desk for the U.S. See a desk, uh, 2021 deaths have passed 2020 deaths. And you can see here that the, well, one, two, one, two, three. So you can see the fourth quarter of 2021 deaths is going to be the, well, the third most deaths of any quarter so far. What about uh, monthly deaths? Look at this, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, 
we don't want to overlook the fact we had six months in a decline in COVID-19 deaths, okay? All about two month increase. Now one, two months down, this series is a little high. Nonetheless, it's, it's going to be below these two numbers here, which is sort of weekly cases. Again, the big declining pattern here. The climb back up and now the roller coaster right down. Now it looks like these four weeks here are going to kind of spoil the party, okay? And you can see here the, the, the weekly case or the daily number, the daily deaths, okay? Here's a question. For every 100,000 people in, a, in, in the U.S., on average, how many people uh, are going to have COVID-19? Well, the answer is right around seven, 75 to 80, which is a bit disappointing because at one point it's somewhere all the way back down here. This is, this is probably some strange anomaly. I, I'm not convinced we actually had that many deaths in a single, cases in a single day. What about uh, deaths per 100,000 people from COVID-19 in the U.S.? Well, you can see here we are right here. This is a half a person. So uh, let's, let's round this up to one half a person. So right now, in the U.S., we have 100,000 people, okay? Uh, one half a person is dying. Okay? So that takes care of the report for the U.S. for that. Let's quickly move on and take care of Brazil.